I finally did it. I switched to one of these minimalist wallets and key cases. I used to lug around one of these typical bifold wallets and a keychain of loose keys because there was no better option. When I saw a friend use one of these types of card cases to hold his cards and money, I used to think to myself, I could never do that. I have too many cards and cash to be able to fit in one of these. Fast forward many years later, and I actually went and bought a ridge kit to test out. The kit comes with a wallet, coin tray, and key case. After 5 months of use, let's see what I hate and love about using these rich products. Fracking creations, showing you the good stuff. What's in the kit? First, let's take a quick look at what I bought. The kit I bought includes the slim wallet in red 3K carbon fiber. The carbon fiber is matte, so it doesn't have the typical gloss finish. I believe it is to make it have a more durable finish that won't get scuffed easily. The kit also comes with an aluminum coin case to use for storing anything that will fit, from coins to spare keys. The tray is the thickness of about 3 credit cards. To round off the kit, there is a key case that allows you to store from 2 to 6 keys. This is in the matte 3K red carbon fiber finish as well. You also get additional accessories like a T5 Torx screwdriver and spare screws, a money clip and band allowing you to switch from the cash strap if it suits you better. Note that as per the Ridge's FAQ, you can even put the money clip on the front plate to use both the strap and clip at the same time. For the key case, you also get two black powder coated key rings of different sizes and a bolt tool to use to add or remove keys. The Slim Wallet I thought I would never say this, but I actually like using the Slim Wallet. So initially it did take some getting used to, but I have gotten used to it now and it's pretty easy to use. There are some negatives to slim wallets in general that I will talk about later in the video so look out for that upcoming. Depending on how full your wallet is before the switch, it certainly forces you to consider if you really need everything that's currently in your wallet always with you or not. I think I've always been wanting to reduce how much I bring with me in my wallet, but never seemed to ever get around to it. Buying this rich wallet pretty much forced me to. But I have to say that it truly is relieving to carry less. On the quality side, you can tell that the wallet is built very well. The cover plate is high quality and the screws are also not your typical cheap one. If you look closely inside the cash strap, you will see that it even has these silicone dots that help to keep a grip on things you slide in here. There are knockoff slim wallets similar to the Ridge wallet that sell for much less but they won't match in the quality or the look, feel and finish. I love the look and feel of this 3K red carbon fiber. The finish has held up well over 5 months of use and it still looks great every time I pull it out of my pocket to use. Granted, I only put this in the pocket with my car keys and chapstick, so it won't really test the durability that much. I like how there are so many selections of cover plates to choose from to suit your taste. They even have titanium, brown leather, Damascus steel, 24 karat gold plated ones and more. My first two choices are this red carbon fiber and forged carbon ember. I use the cash strap for cash sometimes, but mostly it is used to hold receipts from purchases. You can also use it for any RFID cards that you use regularly that don't need to be protected by the RFID protection of the wallet. This little bundle is all I need to bring around with me on a daily basis. 7 cards, spare cash, a reward stamp card, and a healthcare card. If you have rewards points cards, it's time to stop bringing them around with you. Apps like Google Wallet let you add them digitally for easy access, so that's what I use for those. One of the challenges with using this wallet is getting a specific card out. There are several recommended ways to do this, but I settled on my own method. The Ridge recommended method is done by pushing the cards out using the slot and then fanning out the cards with your other hand. Ridge recommends putting your two most used cards at the front and back of the wallet for fast, easy access. A second method is to push the cards out using the slot then squeeze the slot side of the wallet together to get everything to fan out like this. Just be careful not to let everything shoot out. The method I like to use is to fan out the cards like I am flipping through a manual. When I reach the card I want, I use a thumb or finger to pull the card out. It's quick and works whether the card you want is front facing or back facing. Another issue I have with slim wallets, and this is not specific to just the rich, but to all slim wallets, is that when traveling to another country on vacation, you tend to carry more cash than you typically do on a regular basis. The cash strap is designed to only hold up to 15 bills, while the money clip can hold up to 12 bills. If you need to carry more, then you have to store them elsewhere. I suppose if you have that many bills when traveling, you should be keeping it in different locations on you anyway, so I guess this isn't too big a problem. The same goes for receipts. 
as I tend to collect a lot when traveling because I want to reconcile the purchases made. Putting lots of receipts in the cash strap can be annoying and the visible edges tend to get tattered in the pocket. I also hate showing people how many bills I am carrying. And the way the cash strap and clip are to be used requires you to take all your cash out and flash it to everyone as you try to get the correct amount to pay. Aside from credit cards, I also keep my reward stamp card and healthcare card in the wallet. Both happen to be slightly larger than the wallet, so my quick solution is to cut them to size to fit. The last concern I have is that though the wallet has a lifetime guarantee, I wonder how long the elastic will last. Things like this always wear out eventually, and the lifetime warranty doesn't cover normal wear and tear. If this were to break, I would contact Ridge anyway and see if they would replace it for free. The coin tray. I like to use the coin tray to hold cash. This keeps things cleaner, and when I pull out the wallet, no one knows how much cash I am carrying. If I need to carry a lot of cash, I split the bills so that some go in the cash strap while the larger amount goes in the coin tray. This helps me solve the problem of flashing too many bills if I need to pay with cash. On a daily basis, I don't usually pay with cash, so the cash is usually only stored in the coin tray for emergency purposes. Issues with the coin tray are the following. If you want to use it to store coins or keys, then expect it to rattle. Also, when you put a card in next to the front of the tray, it can get caught in the inner edge of the tray. To avoid this, you will just have to use one hand to line the card and coin tray up, then slide the card in with the other hand. The key case. The key case is great for organizing your keys and makes using your keys easier because you can use one hand to operate like this. Much easier than a bundle of keys or using my old key case. The rich key case may have a thicker profile than my old key case, but it looks great, is well built and works so well. The design and engineering of the products are intentional and with purpose. Even the bolt for the key case has a hidden design that allows you to tighten the bolt without over tightening it and that won't loosen by itself over time. Quite ingenious. As with all things that are powder coated, you can expect any powder coated metal parts to wear off over time. This is what I noticed for my key case, since it is stored with other metal objects like my pocket LED flashlight and multi-tool. The carbon fiber finish still looks great otherwise, so I'm still happy with it. Since I don't use the attached clip at all, I've also removed it to slim down its profile. Overall, I think the Ridge has three winners here. Aside from what I discussed already, the main downside of these Ridge products is the price. I hate that the entire kit cost me $262.50 all in and with a discount. If you are looking for one of these, try to get it when it is on sale. Know that you are paying a high price for a quality product and the name. It definitely feels like the supercar of wallets and key cases. These are built to last, to help you to minimize what you carry around with you daily and look slick all at the same time. It definitely makes for a great gift for minimalists, car enthusiasts, guys, girls, and more. This is the good stuff. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and share it with someone else who would enjoy it. Consider subscribing to our channel to get more good stuff to come.